Hey guys, in this quick tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how we can create this cool 3D text which is completely procedural. So we've got an example here and we can go in to the text composition and we can go ahead and change this to anything we like and you're going to see that it's going to update in this new composition here. We've got some nice glow going on, some nice bevels and shadows. Uh, I've also got another example here which is a lighter version with my logo. Got some nice 3D lights going on and it's pretty simple to do so let's go ahead and get started we'll do composition new composition uh, 1280 by 720 30 frames per second we'll hit OK now the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is grab our text tool and we're gonna type out our text and you can go ahead and position it in the center so get this all lined up and the important thing you're gonna want to do is click on that text there and do layer pre-compose and we'll move all the attributes and we'll call this text so now we can go ahead and start adding our effects onto each of these layers so we'll click on this first layer, go to effect and we'll go to no, perspective and we're going to add a bevel alpha onto that and you can go ahead and play around with these as much as you want so we can go ahead and change the right angle and the edge thickness and the right intensity as well so get something like this maybe tone it down a bit we'll do effect generate a ramp we'll shove that on top and we'll just move the bevel on top of that and for this ramp we're going to go ahead and cover it we'll go ahead and make it a nice red cover something like that will do and if we hit F4 on our keyboard so we get these switches here and we're going to make it a 3D layer and after we've done that we can go ahead and duplicate it with Control D and we're going to remove these effects here and if we go ahead and hit P on the keyboard and we're just going to move that forward in front of this back layer if we rename that and we just go ahead and move that forward so you can start to see some parallax happening in the back do minus 50 and we're going to go ahead and add the same effects so we'll go to effect generate a ramp on this one I'm going to make it a nice dark sort of grey sort of black colour you can go ahead and play around with those we'll just add these here and again we'll go to effect perspective and we'll add that bevel alpha and again we're going to increase the edge thickness you can play with the angle and we're going to add some light intensity on top of that so now we should be starting to get something like this I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that once more and we're going to go ahead delete these effects again and we'll hit P on the keyboard and we're just going to start layering these text layers up so we're going to get a 3D depth look and we'll add onto this, we'll rename this middle there uh, middle 2 I guess we'll go to effect, generate a ramp for this one we're just going to do a nice sort of clean ramp and go ahead play around with the switches here and make it a bit darker we're going to go to effect again perspective and bevel alpha but for this one we're going to keep it nice and simple we're not going to do it too thick we'll add some light intensity here so if we solo this way this is what should, we should be getting and what we're going to do we're going to go to effect perspective and we're going to add a drop shadow so if we unsolo this layer you see when we turn this on and off we're going to get some sort of shadow happening on the back colors which is going to add a bit more depth it's like acting as ambient occlusion which we can add in there play around with the softness and the distance until you get something which looks like it's shadowing quite nicely so you'll see we've got our back layer middle layer, our middle two layer now we're going to go ahead and add our front layer so if we duplicate our middle two we'll rename it to front and we'll just unsolo these layers. If 
we delete these effects and we're going to go ahead the same as usual effect generate a ramp and for this guy we're going to choose a nice lighter color something around here if we play around with these switches again next we'll go effect perspective and we'll add a alpha again bevel alpha put the angle to zero and we'll increase the edge thickness and also the light intensity so we're going to be left with something like this might just go ahead and make these colors a little bit darker so we'll make this one darker so we've got some nice highlights happening on the bottom something like that maybe turn that down now we're going to go ahead and add some nice shiny effects on top of this so to do that we can go to effect generate cc light sweep which is here it's standard in after effects and you're going to see this is the effect the effect that it's applied now if we go ahead and choose a nice position for it to stay on you can go ahead and play around with these adjustments over here so we'll increase the sweep intensity and the edge thickness we can play with if we zoom in here you can see it's happening up here and again just play, play with it until you've got something nice we can collapse all these you can go ahead and duplicate that light sweep and we can move it over here play with the direction so we get something like this so this is starting to look quite nice we'll go ahead and close that and again we're going to go to effect perspective and we'll add a drop shadow and again you can play with this and we'll it's fairly straightforward and you just repeat the process over and over again so you'll see now we've got our back layer, middle layer, our middle two layer, and our front layer. But what we want, what we want to do now, is add a simple matte choker on top of this. So if we go to Effect on this front layer, and we'll go to Matte, and we'll go to Simple Choker, and this effect is applied, and we can just go ahead and increase that. So you see, it's going to start taking away the edges of the text. So we can get a nice bevel on top of that. Now this is up to you how much you want to do it. You can go all the way in. We all start to lose, lose some of the text in there. If we maybe do it around 10. 9 or 10 will do. Remember try not to go too far with that. And you can see that is what it's doing to our text. And now we've got some nice bevels happening on the edges of our text. So that's simply how you can do some nice 3D text. I'll go ahead and show you how we can add a nice background. So if we go to Layer, New, Solid, and we'll call this Background. We'll put it onto the bottom. And we'll go to Effect, Generate a Ramp. We'll make it a radial ramp. And we're going to add a nice dark background onto this. So if we add some nice colors in there, spread that out a bit. And the important thing to remember with the ramp is that you need to use this ramp scatter if you want to make it a nice smooth look. So if we go ahead and crease that, you'll see that it's nicely smoothed it out and you're not going to see that color banding happening. So we need to add some nice shadows onto this. If we go to our back layer, go to Effect and Perspective, we can add a draw. Uh, we'll add a radial shadow, and you'll see this getting some nice shadows happening here now. You can play around with the projection point, and we'll increase the softness of this layer. Let me turn that down a bit. Add some opacity onto there. And what you can also do is go to Layer, New, and we'll add a light. 
we'll make it a spotlight, we'll hit OK. Now because these guys are 3D, and we'll make the background a 3D layer as well, this light is going to have some nice impact on our text. So you can go ahead and play with the position of this. And we'll hit AA on the lights, and we can change the cone angle, we'll tone it down a bit. So we're going to get some nice thin lighting. We'll increase the intensity. And we'll go ahead and hit Control D on that light, and we're going to we're going to move it. And we'll have one on the right side, shining down. Maybe move it up a bit. So now you can see we've got some nice shadowing happening. We'll go ahead and hit AA again, and we're going to play with the angle and the intensity. Just move that forward a little bit. So now we'll go and add a final light, so layer new light, and this one's going to be an ambient light, and you'll see that's just going to brighten up your overall scene. So if we hit AA on that, and we can just play around with the intensity, so we get something like that. And one last little thing I like to do, if we go to layer, new, adjustment layer, we're just going to add some quick color correction. So we'll add a curves. We'll give it a nice S curve for a bit of contrast. We'll go down to our blue channel. And we'll increase the shadows and decrease the highlights there. So we're going to get sort of a warmish tint on the cover. Maybe increase that a little bit. We'll also add a glow effect to get some nice glowing happening on the highlight of the text. Play around with the threshold and we'll decrease the intensity to maybe 0.4 and a nice effect that you can do if we duplicate our front layer with control D and if we just hit control A on these effects and delete them so this is what we're left with if we solo this layer if we hit F4 on our keyboard and we're going to change the mode to add and we'll hit P on the keyboard I'm just going to bring it forward a little bit And we'll rename this to Shine. We'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen. And we'll add a directional blur. Make sure the direction is set to zero. And we'll increase the blur length. So you're going to get some nice highlighting happening. And if we go to Effect on the Shine layer, we'll go to Effect, Color Correction Curves. And we're just going to add a bit of contrast to that. And you can go ahead and play with the opacity by hitting T on the keyboard. And that is pretty much how we create, create some nice 3D text. And the cool thing about this is if we go into any of these layers, you can get the text tool and you can change this to anything you like. Tutorial. And it's going to update in this new composition just have to make sure that it fits nicely in there. So we can change this to anything. And go ahead and change the font, stuff like that. And it's going to update nicely. So that's pretty much how we can create some nice 3D text. Again, for this light version, all I did was use a lighter color background and some darker color ramps on the texture. So you can go ahead and experiment with them and come up with some new cool looks that we can do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It looks great. You can use a camera, make a new layer, new camera. Right, okay, and you can actually get some nice parallax on this 3D text. So you can animate that. It's great for some title sequences or stuff like that. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. There will be this project file in the description for download, so you can go ahead and play around with that. And that is it, more tutorials will be coming soon. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye guys.